The Zentradi Armada was harbored in space near Dolce's headquarters, awaiting orders which would send them on another mission to try and recapture the SDF-1 from the tenacious grasp of their valiant Micronian foes. Although Dolce's ultimate plans were unclear, Lord Chiron was anticipating the moment when he could strike out at his enemy without answering to his immediate superior, Commander Britai. While they wait, the Zentradi view transmissions from the SDF-1, transmissions which they believe to be classified military footage. Yeah! singer if we became spies and lived among the Micronians? That's the truth. As a matter of fact, when you hear the real singer, you'll probably like her more than this doll. Oh, this singing really makes me feel funny. Just wait until you hear the next song. You mean there's more than one? And we heard a song. A song? What's that? It's a way Micronians make each other feel good, and there were two songs inside this little doll. It sounds fantastic. Can we hear it? Rico's got it. Come on, yeah, let's go. go. You guys gotta hear this. We wanna hear this. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be way. great. <laughs> Meanwhile, aboard Chiron's cruiser. You say there's chaos aboard Britai's cruiser? That's right. Our three spies, Condorico and Braun, who have infiltrated the Robotech ship, have returned with the singing doll that is wreaking havoc with our soldiers' attitudes. Well, I don't think we need worry about that. It's a lot worse than you think, sir. There is talk among many of our soldiers about defecting to the Robotech ship and leading the Micronian way of life. Defecting? To the Micronians? Yes, sir. That's what I've heard, and not just a few of them. That's enough! Yes, sir. How could a thing like this ever have happened? I'm asking you a question, Grell. I'm not really sure, my lord. Does anyone in the higher command know about this? No, sir. So then, everyone's losing their minds over what's happening on the battle fortress, eh? Well, I'm going to destroy the Micronians and their Robotech ship. Commander! Capture Micronians? Uh, you want us to capture some Micronians and bring them aboard our ship, sir? I've been through your entire report and I feel this is the only answer. The Micronians, it would seem, have discovered the secrets of drone culture. As a result of their discoveries, they are extremely dangerous to us. We must capture a few of them and bring them here for a complete scientific evaluation. After that, when we have finished our tests, we can move to the last stage of my ultimate plan. And that last stage will be final for them. Final, sir? What do you mean, sir? The kind of prolonged contact with creatures who possess a knowledge of protoculture can only have a bad effect upon our soldiers. In order to avoid that contact, we must collect as much data as we can and then destroy them. This is the only way. Now carry out my orders. Yes, sir. On that battle fortress, a female the same size as this picture sings a song for the rest of the Micronians. Let me see. Yeah. It's my turn. Give it here. We will be attacking the space fortress soon. All personnel to your battle stations. What do we do now? When we attack this ship, we'll probably kill this girl and we'll never hear her sing, will we? Yeah, we want to hear her sing. It's not just singing. In the city, they have lots of things we don't have. And if we attack them, well, um... Hmm. Why don't we save them and save ourselves as well? But how? We can't do anything just thinking about our future. After we begin our attack, let's look for a way to sneak on board the enemy ship. Hey, great idea. All right. Sure, but if they catch us, won't we all be executed as punishment, Rico? That's the risk we have to take then. Oh, yeah? Well, then count me in too, because I want all those nice things I never had before. Yeah, me too. Well, I want to go. Oh, count me in also. Okay, we're in it together. 
But before we enter the enemy ship, we have to become Micronians. Braun, you know how to work the conversion machine well enough? No. Maybe I can. It takes a specialist to operate the converter, right, Karita? Without permission? Oh, no! Of course, you fool. If the plan is discovered, we're all dead. You want to hear real singing now, don't you? Sure I do, but, well... If you help us, I'll give you this picture and the singing doll. What do you say to that deal, Karita? Well, I don't know. Huh? We've got to work like a team. If we stick together, we can all enjoy a new life with the Micronians, can't we? Unaware of the developments aboard the aliens' cruisers, life aboard the space fortress goes on. During the lull in battle, it's time for thinking and remembering. What am I doing with my life? What's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna go out fighting like Roy and Ben? Right, Minmay. I'm fighting to protect her. I can't think negative thoughts. I've got to think positively for Minmay and for myself. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we take great pride in presenting the fabulous singing of Minmay. Thanks so much to all of you out there. It's great to be here. I just hope that you all like my next song. It's a special one. Look beautiful, Min May. Absolutely beautiful. To be in love, to live a dream with somebody you care about like no one else. A special man, a dearest man who needs to share. Oh, it sure would be nice if this lull in the fighting continued for a while, huh? I wish I had a boyfriend like the one she's singing about. And you, Vanessa? Yeah, oh. me too. Look! Mm. Someone to love. Someone to share your thoughts and your feelings and time with. Why, it seems like only yesterday that you and I were together, Roy. Just know in my heart we still are and always will be together. Nothing will ever change that, Roy. Nothing. Poor Claudia is probably thinking about Commander Foker. If that's true, then this song must be pretty painful for her, don't you think? As if it's not hard enough to forget. Huh? It's affecting Lisa, too. Oh. I just can't get him out of my mind. And what he says makes more sense every day. I can still hear his exact words. I have some doubts about where everybody has their priorities. This fighting is totally non-productive and only gives us devastation and destruction. There are no winners here. This is a no-win situation. No, I can't be changed by him. I'm in the military. I mustn't think about him. Listen to them cheer. 
she gets all the attention while the fighting and killing continues all around us. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Aboard Britai's cruiser, the plot to capture the space fortress thickens. So you think the enemy would launch a deadless attack on this ship? Yes. And even though on the surface the plan seems risky, if we use the Daedalus to our advantage, we might be able to sneak a Regal squadron into the ship without their detecting it. If so, we would be able to capture not only the Micronians, but the protoculture generator. It seems like a worthwhile risk to capture the whole thing. That's right, sir. But we have to make sure they execute their attack in the way we want them to. We must maneuver so that they launch the Daedalus at the bow of our ship. That way, we can hold out the required time to get our infiltrators on board. Hmm. You've thought this plan out well. Yes, this operation was devised after careful study of the Micronians' fighting tactics, which were reported by our spies. Marvelous plan. We haven't been discovered yet, so at least so far, we're in luck. Well, let's not get too excited yet. And when we move around, we'd better do it quietly, or else we're going to get discovered. Attention all Regals and Cyclops squadrons. Move to the bow to await further instructions immediately. He said move to the bow. Uh, that means a change of plans. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, calm down, you two. The plan is still to attack the battle fortress, isn't it? We're still going to get our chance, so listen Attention, up. Attention all Regal and Cyclops squadrons. The Micronian ship has been sighted, and we will begin our operation when they launch their fighters. Remember, wait for my command. And now the stage is set. Nothing can save the Micronians now. Captain Global, come look, sir. What is it? Huh? There are only 30 of them, sir. That's all? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Good. Why? Compared to the enemy's full battle capability, this is only a small part of their available fleet. Now it is up to us to send them back in defeat. Lisa, order all Veritech fighters to attack. Yes, sir. All Veritech pilots, red alert, red alert. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All Veritech fighters, red alert. 30 alien craft approaching from Sector 24. Do you copy? Over. Copy. Rick, this looks like a big one, so be careful, okay? Hey, you don't have to tell me. Well, Minmei, here I go. Cyclops and battle parts attack now! So far, they're following their usual attack pattern. This is operations. All fighters have launched. Good. Tell all the battle cruisers I want them to move toward the enemy with my ship holding the lead. At once, my lord. And tell the commanders not to worry about casualties. Our main goal is to capture the ship, not to destroy it. Text deployed as long as we can before we launch Daedalus. Lisa, it looks as though we will have to destroy the enemy cruisers one ship at a time. I understand, sir. Stand by to launch Daedalus when you receive my command. Roger. Are you ready? It's time to break inside the Space Fortress. Gee, this is our lucky day, huh? Once yeah. we are inside, we'll blend right in. Good thinking, Bron. Yes, but if we're in the wrong place at the wrong time and we aren't careful, we're going to get killed. We just have to keep back until the proper time. That's right. I'll pass the word. For my next song... <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! 
inmate. You've got to keep singing so they won't panic. Give me that. Hey, everybody, we're going to continue the concert, so please take your seats. There's no need to panic, so on with the show. Please, calm down and return to your seats. Minmay's going to continue to sing for you. Now listen to me, Minmay. You've got to keep singing, and sing in your strongest voice. Sing, but I... Now be courageous and sing. Come on, you can do it. Put your heart into it, Min May. Huh? Ready? And. Speech life. That's great, Min May. The feeling smashing. She's wonderful. I'm so proud of her. I just knew she could do it. And I'm here. And the alien fleet is approaching our position at collision course speed. Are they trying to ram us? Hard to stern. Sorry, Captain, but their fleet has us completely surrounded. Then launch Daedalus attack at once. Yes, Captain. Aim for the lead ship, and once we have destroyed it, we can continue on with the others. Launch Daedalus attack now. <laughs> Ship through the ramming arm. Oh, the enemy's on board. Turn right down that corridor. Have they hit the concert hall? I don't have a status report. Please, Rick, get back on the double. Max, battle pods are on board the SDF-1. We've got to get back there. Min May. This is too easy. I just hope he's safe. To be in love must be the sweetest feeling that a girl can feel. What? To be in love. Here, you've got to keep singing, Min May, and give it all you've got. To be in love to live a dream with somebody. Now don't be afraid and just keep singing. They're not going to hurt us.
There's no doubt. It's got to be him. Careful. Oh, here. Now. I'll make it better. so much stronger than I ever thought possible. I'm so very proud of her. In the next episode of Robotech, confused by the actions of the orbiting SDF-1, the Zentradi attack in full force. Captain Global's army stands off the attack as the stage is set for an ultimate showdown between Earth's displaced heroes and the misguided Zentradi warriors led by Chiron. Be sure to be with us for Reckless, the next thrilling episode in the epic saga of Robotech.